All right, Shalom. Giving our praises, our glory, our, our honors unto Yahweh Bashmi, our Shai, Bashim Kapadash, the belongs to the apostles and others of Great Millstone. Peace and best to the hopeful elect. This is another edition of GMS News and Prophecy. And uh, this here is from uh, CBS News. <clears throat> and it says likelihood of volcanic eruption in Iceland remains high after 700 earthquakes strike since midnight. This is uh, November 14th, 2023. Today's date. And, uh, you know, this is a uh, heavy, man. Okay. Definitely prophecy is manifesting in the earth. It says Iceland's meteorological meteorological office says that the likelihood of a volcanic eruption remains high after hundreds of earthquakes were recorded overnight. According to the office's last update, just before 8 a.m. on Tuesday, uh, there were more than 700 earthquakes recorded since midnight, mostly along the location where magma is collecting below ground. The largest earthquake recorded overnight was a magnitude 3.1 a level at which earthquakes are often felt but only causes minor damage, according to Michigan Technological University. Before midnight, a 3.8 magnitude earthquake also struck, with officials saying that most of the earthquakes recorded were micro-earthquakes. The likelihood of an eruption remains high, officials from the Icelandic Met Office said. If an eruption occurs, the most likely location will be on the magma intrusion. Our latest hazard assessment does not indicate any other potential eruption sites. So, as you can see, you know, uh, just as much as we're, you know, we're seeing major protests, uh, wars, rumors of wars, and and uh, other things happening in the earth. How about Shmuel was shy? is manifesting the earth itself to cause turmoil, okay? So here in Iceland, you have over 700 earthquakes. Uh, there's a very high likelihood of a volcanic eruption. Uh, and that could mean, you know, major devastation for the people that live in Iceland because people do actually live in Iceland, okay, um, you have Iceland, Greenland, okay, and it says that there's a, a magma line that is pretty much being stretched and bubbling near the surface. Um, yeah, it says the biggest concern of the situation is that magma will eventually make its way to the surface, Robert said, and create a Hawaiian-style lava-producing volcanic eruption that could create fissures over a long distance. And the fissure is pretty much a, a, a line, like a long crack, okay? Uh, Chris Livesey, Livesey, a CBS News foreign correspondent, spoke with Hans Weir, an Iceland resident, who said that they are desperate and paralyzed as his family is among thousands around the earthquake-ridden area who have been forced to evacuate. Okay. Uh, so we know major scriptures, Matthew the 24th chapter, Luke 21st chapter, which pretty much say the same thing. How Shai is prophesying about major earthquakes in the earth. Uh, but I'm going to get another scripture. What I want to get first and foremost is Isaiah, the 24th chapter. I'm sorry, I'll say Isaiah 24. Isaiah 29. I get those chapters mixed up sometimes. So this is Isaiah 29 and 6. It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, armies, with thunder and with earthquake, and great noise, with storm and tempest, 
and the flame of devouring fire. And if that volcano erupts, it's going to cause, it could possibly cause fires. That magma is going to sweep down and destroy homes. But there's also been, as it said, hundreds of earthquakes, over 700 earthquakes just in Iceland. Okay? Enough to be felt. You know, imagine a 3.5, 3.8 earthquake. And you're talking about over 700 earthquakes. And you're feeling them every couple of minutes, every couple of seconds. So now the people that live there in Iceland, those families got to evacuate. But that's the power of the Lord. Okay? And the Lord said, one of the prophecies is that he was going to start to uh, to visit the earth. Okay? So we're in that time, man. All right? Of the Heavenly Father visiting the earth. All right? Uh, so now I want to get Joel... Second chapter. Let me see here. Joel chapter 2 and 30. The day of the Lord. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. Blood and fire and pillars of smoke. And when these earthquakes erupt, you see the pillars of smoke in the sky. You see it erupt. You know. I mean, the most high, man, he can use... The earth itself to take out certain places, okay? Certain cities, you know, people evacuating. You know, he's using these forest fires to evacuate certain cities, even though, you know, a lot of times that was Esau. Okay, tsunamis. This is the type of judgment that Yahweh Bash Mishai is bringing. Verse 31, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood, which are these solar and lunar eclipses, before the great and the terrible day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, come. And that's going to culminate in the destruction of Babylon the Great, the, the, uh, the uh, land of Israel in the Middle East, and the end of Esau's kingdom. Verse 32, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Shai. So that name is important. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, which are the Hebrew Israelites, the people, shall be deliverance. As the Lord had said, and in the remnant, which are the elect, whom the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, shall call. So, you know, we got to pay attention to what's going on in the Middle East. You know, we got to pay attention to... These earthquakes and things that are happening, these upwards of the people, all of these things are signs that Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai is visiting the earth and also visiting Esau and is about to destroy his kingdom, his world. But it's going to end good for the remnant of Israel, the chosen elect. So with that, our praises go to Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakadash, double honors once again to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hundred forty-four thousand, the rest of the elect, the one-third. Shalom.